What's happening guys? Silent Mike, checking in again, another voiceover. Uh, I know there are a lot of questions if you guys watched that last video. Um, you know, I my goal is to travel. Uh, so right now, do your boy a favor, comment below what gyms you think I should visit, what lifters, personalities you think I should go visit, hang out with, uh, and give this thing a thumbs up. And I guess to get in a little more detail is, um, you know, what my plans are. Everyone said it, they don't know what my plans are and, and I don't either and that's kind of the point uh, the point is to become uncomfortable uh, the point is to not be in my comfort zone the point is to not have a plan uh, and the point is to do uh, things that that uh, test me uh, you know the name silent Mike is is that name because I am kind of shy uh, once I'm comfortable I'm loud once I'm comfortable I'm more me and I'm more outgoing, but typically I'm pretty uh, shy. You know, I, I was the kid that's in fourth grade, uh, you know, that had his dad order his meal for him because I didn't want to talk to the, the, the waiter or waitress. Uh, I still, to this day, don't like uh, answering phone calls. You know, I literally answer like my mom, my girlfriend, and Mark. Uh, you can ask Smokey. I don't answer his phone call. I don't like talking on the phone. Obviously, I've had to get over that uh, with customer service that I ran uh, for both the commercial gym and slingshot and, and general business things that I had to do. But um, I am kind of shy. So so my goal is literally just to venture out uh, without a plan, kind of to be uncomfortable, uh, find comfort in my uncomfort. And so uh, in that I think I, I'll, you know, without being vague and whatever, to, to, to find myself a little more. Um, but to number one is to be myself uh, and create the content I want to create and help you guys as much as I can. So, you know, the, the happy, the dancing, the lifting, the coaching mic and content is here and it's back. And, and, and now I have more time uh, to make better content for you guys. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to kind of invest into some of that, both traveling wise uh, and, and perhaps equipment wise uh, to put out the best freaking content that I can entertain, make you guys laugh, uh, and hopefully teach you something, uh, about lifting or whatever it is along the way. Here I am hitting some freaking squats. Um, a little bit of a rebuild for me. Uh, back's been really stiff. I have lost a little bit of weight. Uh, I had that trip to Colorado and before that trip, I was sick for about a week. Uh, and so a very common question I do get asked all the time is how do you kind of rebuild or, or how do you go back into a program if you had to take a week, two weeks, a month off, or if you got sick or how do you rebuild? How do you restart uh, kind of what you're doing? And, and you know, there's a lot of ways. If you feel good, you can kind of hop back in the program, uh, kind of let start where you left off or redo the week before. Uh, but if you don't feel good, which is in my case, I didn't, I didn't feel awesome. I didn't feel strong. I felt really stiff uh, from being in bed sick for about a week. And then all the travel uh, flying to Colorado, uh, obviously jacked up my hips a little bit. So for me to rebuild and, and previous to that, I was kind of um, peaked up on my squat. So I, I was pushing it pretty hard, you know, squatting that 525, 535 uh three four i think about six days in a row over a span of two weeks i squatted over 520 which for me is very heavy so uh the rebuild is now for me uh hence kind of the beltless work i'm not a huge fan of beltless work but um what i'm doing is not using a belt and going double overhand to force myself to use less weight uh not that i think personally i i don't think the beltless work will make me necessarily stronger i like the belt for safety and to flex harder um but it'll allow me to use less weight uh, in the rebuild. So a basic protocol uh, that I follow is three sets, five to eight reps. Uh, I literally use anywhere from 60%, um, maybe to 70%, but more in the 55 to 60% range. And I do it with all lifts. Uh, bench is the only lift that actually feels pretty decent right now. So I pushed that a little harder. I probably went up to maybe uh, 70, 75%, but I still did sets of five to eight, three sets on all of them. And then uh, the next session, I'll probably do the same. So I might do something like that for about three weeks and then just progressively add, uh, you know, 10 to 20 pounds on each lift, depending on how I feel. But sometimes uh, just getting in the back of the groove, uh, forcing the frequency. So I'm going to keep the same amount of frequencies I had three squat days, three bench days uh, and a deadlift day uh, to allow me to get back into that groove. And then from there, I can get onto a real program, uh, get back onto uh, losing weight. I am adding cardio, as I mentioned in the previous video so cardio two or three times a week nutrition has been locked in even during my sickness often when i'm sick i just binge on macaroni and cheese and cry till my fever goes away but this time i stayed on track weight loss is good i appreciate you guys trust me more content's coming more travels coming 
Like this bitch, share this bitch. Salam Mike. I'm out of here, guys. Appreciate you.